development. So, uh, folks, uh, everything you see here might not be exactly what you're going to see in the final release of the game, but I think we can give you a really good sense of what the game's going to look and feel like as we get started. So, this is the first time I've ever been in the live demo. I've been in the live demo. どんなポケモンが出るかっていうのもちょっと世界初公開のポケモンも登場するかもしれないです。ドキドキちょっとドキドキしますね。<笑>これね。<笑> so、this is actually the first time for us、uh, to show a Pokemon game at this stage in development, kind of be a live gameplay. So,、uh, not really sure exactly what we're gonna encounter in this. We may see some all new Pokemon that haven't been revealed before. I'll keep my fingers crossed. That'd be really cool.、Um, actually, as we get started here,、uh, Masuda-san and Mori-san, can you tell us a little bit about、uh, the story and the background of what's going on right now in the game? まあ今ここでちょっと主人公は何をしている場面になるんでしょうか。そうですね。えっ、ー、と主人公はですね、アローラ地方に引っ越してきたばかりという設定になっています。で今回すでにまあ少し進めていまして、最初のポケモンはすでに、えー、もらっています。でえー、今から、えー、リリータウンというところでお祭りが開催されるのでそこに向かうところです。So at this point in the game, it's a little bit、uh, slightly into it, but it's、uh, the, the player actually had just moved to the Alola region、uh, the other day and、uh, One day previous to where we are in the game, he、uh, received his first partner Pokemon for his adventure. And right now, we're actually on the way to a neighboring town where there's a, a festival.、Oh. And I think here, well, <laughs> we can see what we were talking <laughs> about earlier. <laughs> oh, you're just jumping into the low grass. <laughs> あーあー、びっくりする、これ、びっくりする、<笑>レディバーですね、そうレディバー、いや、えっ、ー、と、まあ、アローラ地方には、他の地方のポケモンも出てきます、はい、そう、あなたが見ると、アローラ地方は、別に、はい、not just new ポケモンが、unique to the Alola region, but from other regions, you see ポケモン、まあ、今回あの、トレーナーとポケモンっていうものもしっかり描きたいと思って、あのトレーナーが一緒に、こう、ポケモンの後ろにいるっていう。And as you can probably see here in battle, you see the trainer is actually standing behind、uh, the, po the Pokemon、uh, in the battle. So we really wanted to express this、uh, feeling of the trainer always being with his or her Pokemon. Yeah, I'd love to talk about that in a little bit more detail here because I feel like there's so much that you've done with、um, uh, the way the battle looks in this game to make it feel really intense and really immersive. I was wondering if we could talk a little bit more about that with what you did with、um, the lighting and the dynamic camera angles here. Yeah, but the new one is a little bit of a difference. Yeah, but the new one is a little bit of a difference. Yeah, but the new one is a little bit of a difference. Yeah, but the new one is a little bit of a difference. Uh, for example, like the shadow, you see it's、uh, in the evening right now, so it's a bit longer. But depending on the time of day, the, the lighting will kind of、uh, affect the mood of the battle. I think here、uh, Terry's kind of staying still for a second to let us see how the camera is, is moving around. And this is something that'll just happen for you if you're staying still in the battle for a moment. And you really get a good chance to get a look at these Pokemon and the area that you're in and the environment. そうですね、まあ、今回とても、えー、と親切なというか説明がいろいろ入れています例えばその、えー、とインフォメーションボタンがあるんですけどもそちらをタッチすると今その技がどんな技かというのを一目で分かるようになっていますそう、so, really really uh, really、です。I think it's been so helpful. There, there are just so many Pokemon that you have to, to keep in mind now as you're battling. It's so nice to be able to pull it up. And if maybe you don't quite remember what something does,、yeah. being able to just pop it up really fast there, it's like you don't have to use that information. But if maybe your memory is not as good as it used to be and you need it, it's so nice to be able to pull that up and take a look. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. 
例えば今、えー、とレディバの方をタッチしてもらいますと,、えー、と今どんな状態かというのが分かるようになっています。You can tap on the、uh, 2D Pokemon icon that's at the touch screen and see how its parameters actually just got changed、um, because of a, the effect of a, of a move. So, as you just said, like a lot of things that you had to keep in your head, you had to remember、uh, before, are now visualized on the interface itself. Yeah, let's see how this battle goes. Are you, are you planning on trying to capture this? I'm going to begin my quest to catch them all. Oh. Okay, good luck. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, get it. You can、oh. do it, I think. So,、um, just to, to bring up real quickly, for folks who maybe haven't played a Pokemon game before,、um, battling Pokemon is really at the core of what the series is all about. You're going out into the world with your Pokemon battling. Oh, oh. this is the most stressful moment. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay, so we're able to catch this Pokemon.、Um, but it's a really interesting game if you're interested in battle and strategy and in,、uh, collecting all these really interesting Pokemon that you meet. What a bit and, of oh, and p o p l i o leveled up. Good job. Yay. <laughs> And it was nice there too seeing how the, the level up change. Oh, and this is actually something、oh. that we should talk about as well.、Um, can you tell our viewers a little bit more about、um, what they're seeing on the upper screen? Pretty much, it's a little bit of 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 a little bit が出てくるかもしれないっていう風に演出しています。いろいろこうどんなポケモンがいるんだろうって考えながら育てたり捕まえたりしてほしいなと思います。So one of the things we wanted to do with the Pokédex this time was really encourage players to again really want to catch them all, really fill up the Pokédex. And one way we've done that, as you can see, there's the Ladybug just got registered, but next to it is a white Pokéball icon. And what that does, that indicates there's an empty space, which means that either it has an evolution or maybe there's another Pokémon out there that kind of forms a pair with it. So that'll kind of encourage players to really want to fill up that. Empty space, go out and search and you know, catch all different types of Pokemon and kind of complete their Pokedex. Yes,、yeah, especially exciting, I think, when you find one and there's lots of white Pokeballs and you're just like, oh, okay. So it's an EP. It's got a lot of work to do. 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 It's got a これは新ポケモンですね、えー、とヤングースというポケモンです、いつもまあお腹をすかしていて、まあ、お腹が減っていくとこう怒りっぽくなっちゃうというポケモンらしいですね。So, as you can see, this is the po new Pokemon called Young Goose.、Um, it's always hungry, so it's always、uh, getting hungry, and then so it's looking for food, but whenever it's hungry, it also gets very aggressive. I love its face. It's <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I like the color. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for it though. I feel like you just throw it a bag of chips or something and it'd be like, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Always hungry. <laughs> oh, 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 And actually, this will give us a chance to maybe take a look at the Pokedex. So, we've got a new Pokemon to check out. So, we've got some,、uh, some interesting changes. Helps you、uh, in your adventure, so it'll tell you information about、uh, Pokemon that you really. Here, actually, we're, we're still really early in the game. We don't have the Rotom Pokedex, so the touchscreen is just black on the bottom, but you'll get it later.
And here, actually, this is a great chance. If we just like take a little quick circle around, we can show off uh, not only the trainer's proportions, but also the the movement is a little bit different than what um, folks who played previous Pokemon games have expected. So yeah, you can move around. It's free uh, full analog movement this time in the game. Oh. Oh, oh, and uh, I, we need to tell players what's going on uh, here when they're seeing the, the shadow come in. まあ、今あそこのキャラクターがこうモンスターボールを投げてるんですけど、あれはこうポケモントレーナーですね。ポケモントレーナーの視線に引っかからないように、まあ、上下でこうその緊張感を表しています。So you see that uh, lady over there, the girl throwing a Pokeball up and down, and uh, so she's a Pokemon trainer, and what uh, she's obviously going to try and battle you, but what that kind of uh, shadow that appears on the screen indicates is that there's a that she's going to challenge you to a battle, so it kind of increases this sense of tension of you're about to go into a battle, and that indicates that to the player. So I can either avoid her or actually battle her. Yeah, battle her. Oh, I think we'll battle her. Yeah, like it feels <laughs> like that moment where two people are like glaring at each other, <laughs> ready to fight. <laughs> But it is really nice if you're in a position where maybe you're trying to get somewhere really quickly or mm. your Pokemon aren't in great shape ah, right now, you don't yeah. want to fight. It's, mm -hmm. it's nice to have that second where you can avoid it before you just kind of stumble yourself into a battle. I think as we can see here, um, we're seeing the other trainer as well. And it's really nice actually just to get uh, such a good look at the Pokemon proportions mm. alongside their trainers. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely one of the new things. I think by having the trainers in battle, like you mentioned, it really gives you that sense of scale. And I think from the experience I've had at the office playing this game, it's really going to surprise people when they take a look at just how big and small certain Pokemon are when they're actually standing right next to them. あと、え、トレーナーごとにですね、色々こう、モーション <laughs> I think there might be some more folks we can battle up here. As we're walking around, I'm hoping folks who are watching are listening with the volume up so they can hear the the music in this area. It just, I found it really great how it feels. Uh, it really fits in with the tropical environment. <laughs> I love how enthusiastic he looks. <laughs> All right, Oliver. <laughs> And we can see as Terry's battling here, um, with how the battle interface is set up, it's really easy to just get super involved in the battle to, to whatever extent you want to be. Um, you've got all this information at your fingertips. It's not that you have to look at it all, but it's so nice that if there's anything that you need to check on, you can do it so quickly mm -hmm. and, and you still feel really immersed in the battle. これはそうですね。あのバトルのインターフェースでこう、いろんな情報を今ま、今回覚えなくてもいいっていう話だったんですけども、こう、ま、見たい時はあの、タッチ一つでこうやってこう、情報すぐに出せるのにやっぱこう
That's interesting, yeah, watching its animation as it's, it, it's got very bird-like movements as it's kind of twitching its head side to side. And I think that the level of detail that you guys have put into all the Pokemon animations in this game is really fantastic. Oh, no, no, Terry! Oh, oh, no! Hopefully one of your new friends is ready to help us out. There's a good chance to mention, actually, uh, we did find a Pokeball earlier as we were walking around, and you can find some good items mm. to help you out along the way that can help you heal up your Pokemon. And oh. <laughs> High risk to catch them all. <laughs> <laughs> Ladybug got a level out of that, though. Ah, this is level up, isn't it? Ladybug, almost another one. Game no daigo mi desu ne. This is definitely one of the. I think one of the things that really makes Pokemon a fun game is kind of like the sense of tension here. So, do we have anything we can give Hopuyo to? I think it's time to go to the festival. Oh, you're ready. Atsuri ni mukai masho ka. Oh no, we'll just run from this one. All right. Just this one, just run away. Terry, you gonna heal up after this? Yeah. We'll get healed up. We'll get healed up. I think before we get to the festival, because that's not to give too much away, but there's there's more fighting in your future. More fight. Almost like more battle going on. So this is the way to go. So uh, actually, as we come into the this area here, we're going to be meeting several different characters that uh, our viewers. maybe aren't familiar with. Uh, would you mind just giving us a quick introduction to them? Kind of. He's actually the uh, guy who gives you your first uh, partner Pokemon in your adventure. A very strong trainer on yeah. this island. This <laughs> So this is how and you're about to battle him actually uh, as part of this festival. And that's Professor Kukui right there in the white lab coat. He's a professor who specializes in researching Pokemon moves, so like their attacks and such. Yeah, I think based on the fan response I've seen, he is Quickly becoming the most dreamy <laughs> professor. <laughs> Thank you for the time. あと、リディエですね。えっと、ポケモンのトレーナーではないんですけども、今後も一緒に冒険するキャラクターです。And that's uh, Lily uh, behind you there. She's the uh, assistant of Professor Kukui and she's not a Pokémon trainer, but she'll join you on your adventure throughout the story. And sharp eyed viewers may have noticed her bag is kind of interesting. ちょっと彼女が持っているまあバッグちょっと気になりますねカバンの方はなんかありましたか今ちょっとねさっき動いてたけどねいやまだまだ言えないからキープしてるのアンフォーチュナル動いてたの見ちゃった<笑><笑><
So in this, uh, in this particular festival, actually, this is kind of a, a celebration or a way to kind of kick off both you and Howe's adventures to kind of travel across the island. So it's kind of a, a ritual in this society. Mm. And uh, folks may have noticed there was uh, another thing where we can't really talk about too much, but just to mention Tapu Koko. あ、そうですね。ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ち